Good morning. Morning. Cheers. Cheers. I love you. Good morning, everyone. Cheers. Hmm. We are kind of getting back into a normal groove. A normal groove. It'll never be the way it was. It'll be the new normal. It's a normal groove. Yeah. It's the new normal. It's the new normal. Do you ever get sick of hearing that crap? The new normal? <laughs> Uh-oh. God! Okay, never mind that. Hey, uh, before we start. Okay. I just found out what LOL means. I was talking to somebody online this morning. Yeah? I always thought it meant low on liquor. It probably does for next, Canadians. The <laughs> next thing that's going to happen is somebody's going to tell me that WTF doesn't mean where's the food. Nope, it's Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. <laughs> uh, oh, welcome back, everyone. Yeah, here Happy we, Saturday. Here Thank we you go. for being here today. We appreciate you watching. <laughs> if you haven't subscribed yet, please do so and then click that bell to make sure that you get notified anytime we put out a new video. Give us a thumbs up, leave a comment, and share us with all your friends and family you want to torment. So since we're getting kind of back into things, um, last Saturday, so the reason we were in Las Vegas from <sighs> in southern Nevada. In 100 degree plus temperatures. It was 108 while we were in Las Vegas last week. We've since left Las Vegas. Wait till you hear where we <laughs> You'd think you'd go to cooler temperatures, right? Nah. So uh, we were in Las Vegas because I had an event that I had to go to on Saturday night, September the 7th. Uh, the Nevada Broadcasters Association mm -hmm. inducted me into the Nevada Broadcasters Hall of Fame. Yay! Tom Jordan, 52 years. There it is. He so, was the longest, yeah, longest on air or radio industry inductee. I won the night. He did fifty-two years in the broadcasting industry. Yep. Next closest was my good buddy Sean Stevens. He's been in for forty-six years. Yep, in radio. He's yep. program director at the Coyote in uh, Las Vegas. Yeah. So, you guys have known each other a long time. Long time. Our long dear time. friend uh, Jay Albright and our friend Mike Ginsburg are the ones that kind of helped get the ball rolling to yep. get him into it. When Jay uh, talked to us probably about a year ago, yeah. um, she says, I cannot believe you are not in it. And so she <laughs> says, we're going to make this happen. So he was nominated and he had to... He had to do some legwork himself to get yeah, information was, to them. It was easy. It was fun. It was interesting to look back on my illustrious radio career. Well, you've been in it for a long time, obviously. Yes. But you started when you were very, very young. Yeah, I was three. So. <laughs> so. <laughs> well, your mom did say that, like, at two years old, you were walking around with the transistor radio to your ear. Oh, my gosh. So. Anyway, it was a great event it was a great night yeah and fun. we got to play dress up should we show some pictures yeah you want to show yeah, we, we got to play dress up you know you live in an rv you travel full time you don't really dress up you know what's you know? funny is when we first started researching about this everybody always said oh you only need shorts and tank tops and t-shirts <laughs> and you know because you're and it's like mm, no no, we're not, we're not on vacation in the summer all the time. And we like to get dressed up once in a great while. Okay, so take a look at, take a look at this real quick video right here. Look at this. Fly me to the moon. How do you like that? I even sang to that video. We, we can clean up a little bit, huh? <laughs> Oh, it was a good night. We had was. a great time. Special thanks to Jay Albright and Mike Ginsburg. I love you both so much. 
it's it was funny. She said, just, why is it I know the two people that have been in radio the longest? <laughs> you you and uh, Sean Stevens. Yeah. <laughs> it's because Jay's been a friend of theirs for it's, a very long time. It's just, it was a great night. Yeah, it was fun. I, I think one of the most fun things for me were, so the association, Nevada Broadcasters Association, um, uh, issues scholarship awards scholarships yeah. to and are they students that are in broadcasting yeah. or have that ambition yeah so what they do is they kind of do a combined event where they introduce all the students the college students that are have the um, scholarships and that to me was a really fun thing they had the kids go around to all of the people at cocktail hour and introduce themselves, say what school they're going to, whether it be UNR in Reno or UNLV in Las Vegas. And I'm not sure if any were at any other schools. We yeah. just were just introduced those to those two schools. Yeah. So that for me was a lot of fun. They had two of the kids um, sing the national anthem, which they did an amazing job. Awesome job. Oh my gosh, better than 90% of the people at professional ball games. So. Oh, they were really good. you know what? Since I'm name dropping, I want to throw out Eric Manici's name. Oh he, yeah. He puts the whole thing together. He's on the board, I believe, and he just he just did a wonderful job coordinating everything. And, and it's his brother and sister-in-law that have the foundation or whatever yes. that issues the scholarships. Yeah. They're the ones yeah. that do. Well, Eric too. He yeah. inter they interview and. Yeah. Um, but the, he he just did a heck of a job. It's quite a feat to yeah, put is. all that together. It really is. So uh, it was great, great food, great people, mm -hmm. and um, and it was about time that you got awarded <laughs> and recognized for all of your hard work in radio for yeah. so many years. So that's why. It, that's we, why we were in a hundred plus degree temperatures. Yeah. Normally, we don't leave northern Nevada until October. Either late September or October, sometimes even November, we wait till it's cooled off down south. But we didn't this time because of the event. So we get we get to perump and do our errands with our uh, mail forwarding service. We hop over to the hump in to Las Vegas. It's 108 degrees. Two of the days were there. <laughs> the lows at night were only 90. And yeah. you oh. know what? Knock on wood. Taylor's air conditioner. Hands oh, off to you. Knock on wood that it. Hats off to you, Taylor. Keeps hanging in there because we still need another week and a half's worth of. So we left Vegas, and you know you'd think we'd go to cooler, higher ground. <laughs> well, you were kind of thinking, okay, where can we go? We that's went to inexpensive. Not we went. We are, are. in Laughlin. Oh, Laughlin, and it's hotter here than Vegas. Oh, <laughs> uh, but you thought, okay, where can we go that? Because it's going to be hot everywhere at this time. Yeah. And it's like, where can we go that's inexpensive where we'll have full hookups? And there's a Nevada State Park down here. And since we're Nevada residents, Tom gets a senior pass for $30 a year. And you get camping for free. And then you pay free $10 for hookup. Yeah. So we so, got full hookups. 50 water sewer right 10 here. 10 bucks a night. At our site for 10 bucks a night. So... so that's so we plop down for two full weeks here. Yeah, we can get a. I get. A, I have a lot of work to catch up on after me being sick and us getting ready to travel. Yeah. And so. But we are going to higher ground yeah. once this is over for for at least another two to three weeks after that. And we haven't figured out. Where we haven't we figured yet, out so. where that higher ground is, but if <laughs> if you look at a map and you look where we are, the only higher ground that's really close by is east, going to to around the Flagstaff area and that, that portion of, of Arizona. Yeah, so. so We'll see. We'll see where, be, where we end it'll up. It'll be our luck that we'll head that way and all of a sudden it will be hot there. Either that. Unseasonably hot. Or it will be cooling off and it'll snow on us. No, it won't snow. <laughs> They're supposed to have a foot of snow in some sections of the high country of Colorado. That's Colorado. This weekend. It's not Arizona. I know yeah, it snows but, in Arizona too, but but, but. <laughs> we'll see, we'll see. Anyway, hey, I would deserve. Back to this. I would deserve a yeah, day of snow. Oh, you're gonna deserve it, all right. <laughs> this is awesome. Again, thanks, Jay and Mike, okay. Eric Benici. Thank you very much. This is just okay. incredible. This is like solid granite 
and <laughs> it's heavy. it weighs like seven and a half pounds. So the first thing Lori says when I when I get awarded this, I'm up on stage, and all I hear from the crowd is, "What are you gonna offload?" <laughs> yeah, what are you gonna swap out the weight for that? Oh, <coughs> on with the show. On this with the is show. it. Da, 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 da. So um, Sunday we enjoyed a wonderful brunch and yep. visit. Excuse me, I need to get some water. Okay, oh, here tickle. we go. You have coffee? We enjoyed a wonderful <laughs> brunch visit with Jay. Thank yeah, you, Jay. With our friend Jay. It's always great <laughs> spending time with you. We yeah. love you to death. We all we always feel all fancy getting to go to the Las Vegas Country Club. <laughs> yes, we do. <laughs> but it's always great to just sit and chat, and it doesn't matter what it's about. No, we just, yeah. You know, it's just about to be able everything. to spend time together. It's about anything that's, and everything. That's what it's all yeah. about. We, Jay's a very special person, and we feel really honored yeah. to get to have special one-on-one -on -one time with her. Yes. So. And then uh, on Monday, we went to visit our friends Sam and Virginia. Yes, we did. Hi, Sam and Hi, Virginia. Sam. Hi, Virginia. Sam always watches, and but he doesn't ever comment. He doesn't yeah. doesn't do that kind of thing. But um, we very much enjoyed our visit with Sam and in Virginia. Yes. yes, we did. So during our visit, <laughs> the subject of fudge came up. So uh, <clears throat> the what? subject of Lori's fudge Lori's came fudge. up. Yes, because I had made him a made fudge for him, and I brought him this past. whole in the past. Yeah, in the past, not this time. And I brought him this whole tin of fudge, thinking he would share it with the family. Oh no, he whisked that thing right off to the bedroom, and nobody else got any. <laughs> So we're sitting there talking, and Sam, Sam, they were talking about how they can never find any fudge anywhere. You know, it's not really sold in stores because it's something that you need fresh. And and uh, so as we're sitting there, I'm thinking, and it was like, okay, so Sam wants fudge, and I asked Virginia, so what's your special treat that you like? <laughs> so she said Butterfinger candy bars. Yeah. So I told Tom when we got in the car, I said, okay, we need to go to Walmart. I need to go get Virginia some Butterfingers, and I need to get all the ingredients for me to make fudge. Yep. So, came home the very next morning. I made the fudge so that it was mm -hmm. nice and fresh, and I wanted to do it in the morning before it got too hot. So, I make the fudge, and uh, we had a lunch date with Mike Ginsburg. Yay, so Michael! We went to lunch with Mike, and we went to a really cool restaurant. It's called Ichabod's. Oh my gosh, and Mike knows all the dives in Las Vegas. Oh, this isn't a dive. No, it isn't, but he knows all the cool yeah. spots in Las Vegas. Let's so put it that when way. When you come up to it, it gives you the, it's in a strip mall, but it gives you the feeling of an old time Las Vegas club. And it's got, you know, like a red carpet and the red rope and they even have an old Buick out sitting in front of it, and um, it's got you know photos of of uh, days gone by. by <laughs> yeah, of the Las Vegas superstars and stuff. Yeah. So, um, and amazing food. Yeah, they have a huge menu, really good food. Our service was fantastic, and it and was the just, company was even better. Yes, so I think we sat there like two and a half hours. Yes. But um, we enjoyed talking with Mike, too, kind of like when we visit with Jay. Yeah. Just, you know, they talk some old-time radio stuff. We talk about just everything. I, and worked, so I worked with, well, I worked with Jay several times, but I worked with a radio consultant. But Mike was the general manager of the radio station I worked at when I did go to Las Vegas and work radio in Las Vegas for a few years in the mid-'90s. And we just got old war stories and like to talk about just, just stuff. And it's just so much fun. You guys um, know a lot of people in common, too, because we visited with Mike back in 2016 when we made our trip all the way back to yeah. um, St. Louis, and we came back through Nebraska, and he was there in Nebraska. Yeah. <clears throat> and we uh, we visited with him when we were there, and you guys knew people the same in that radio station, too. Because yeah. I actually worked in Lincoln, Nebraska at one time in the 70s, and <coughs> Mike was at the cluster that owns the station that I was at. <laughs> so, yeah. Hey, radio just, is a small community. It, it is. really it is. is. It is. So, um, but anyway, so, we had lunch with Mike. And then I ran to, we ran to the Dollar Tree so I could get some containers and yeah. some gift bags and stuff to deliver 
deliver the fudge. So when I got home, I cut it all up and packaged it all up. And then the next day, we uh, went to go deliver it. Well, Sam and Virginia weren't home. I kept calling and calling. And I thought, well, we'll swing by there maybe because their uh, son and daughter-in-law live there too. And so I thought, well, hopefully somebody will be home. And thankfully, their son was home so I could deliver them. And uh, I got a phone call later on. They were just thanking me when when uh, Sam found out that <laughs> that I had delivered fudge. Uh, Virginia says his eyes lit up like a Christmas tree. So he was. So I'm very glad you guys were excited and yes. happy with your treats. Yes. So and oh, I made an extra package for the rest of the family. Yeah. So Sam had his own. Virginia had her own. Butterfingers and the and rest of the family else has their own little has tin of own. fudge. Yes. <laughs> yeah, so there's plenty to go around since I can't eat that much of it. I only kept some trimmings. And uh, so, but I loved being able to do that. I felt bad that I hadn't taken any originally, but there really wasn't time when we planned on going to yeah. see them. And so, um, we went and fueled fuel up the truck so that we would be ready for travel day on Thursday. I toe had a full belly and away we go. Yeah. So we left early. We, well, we left at nine. Yeah. Which we wanted to get time. out of there before the triple digits hit right yes. about noon again. Yes. So problem we, is the problem is the check in <laughs> the check in here at the Big Bend of the Colorado Nevada State Park is two o'clock in the afternoon. Yeah, two o'clock is the check ins at the Nevada State Park. Gosh, and check so out late. check out is eleven. 11. So that gives them a lot of time to clean sites, but. With it being 100 degrees plus, there's nobody in the park but us and two right. or three other folks. And, and we arrived it. on Thursday. And if we couldn't get in, which would have been fine, we totally understand that. We were going to go park somewhere and just run the AC so Katie yeah. wouldn't get overheated. She kind of did, coming from Pahrump to Las yeah. Vegas, she got a little bit overheated. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> so we try not to run the air conditioning in the truck when we're towing, going up and down over yeah. hills and stuff. So, it's an old truck. So, uh, <laughs> y'all know that, right? <laughs> <laughs> so, but got, anyway, we got here and talked to the uh, uh, uh the Cheryl ranger. up at the, at the, the ranger, booth, the ranger mm -hmm. and you know, she says, since it's a weekday yeah, and there's, there's nobody, nobody in here, the park, there's like two or three other people, and that was it, and that's including the camp host. And she's like, so. go on into your site, it's totally empty. Yeah, I was so. like, oh, thank you, thank you, thank yeah, you. Yeah, so we were able to get. Get in, get set up fast, and get the air conditioning on. So that poor little Kaylee, she's laying. And the then uh, everything cooled down again. You know, it's yep. like. Yep. Yep. So um, uh, then yesterday we just kind of went and ran a couple of errands. Um, went to Bull. Bullhead City. Bullhead City. Yeah. 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 It's just across the river. Yep. So when we're in Reno during the summer, we have this big long shade cloth that's like four layers thick that we hang from our back. Our um, our awning that comes down over the refrigerators and it's it helps. On, it, it's on the driver's side of the rig. Yeah, it helps keep the sun from beating on the refrigerators and making them too hot. Yeah. So we left it in Reno because most of the time in the autumn and winter we don't need it. You don't need it because we're not in hot weather. Well, guess what? We're in hot weather now. So we need it. And this time, the way we're parked, the sun is beating on the refrigerators all day. So we ran Home Depot and got a roll of shade cloth, cut it down to size, and um, so yeah. so we ended up getting some more. It but, helps. It helps keep the fridges at a good operating temp. Yeah. They, they're staying in the 30s. I'm surprised. They're, I'm just... Ooh, not going no, to wait. Gets to, gets to 40 <laughs> something late in the afternoon, but... Um, Maybe 41, 42, yeah. that was it. So yeah. we can live with that. Yeah. Um, something that, that we do, it helps for us, it works for our refrigerators, is we take those back vents off so that there's a better airflow. And I know a lot of people put fans on their vents, you know, and we have fans built in to the backs of these refrigerators that suck the air up from the bottom, throw it out the top. They're just not strong enough and frankly, I just don't want to waste my time putting a couple 12 volt fans up there when I can just pop the backs off and the air flows very good and yeah. totally free so yeah it it's, works for us yeah so might approve might disapprove but this is what works for us and we've been doing this for a few years now and it works in the summer when for it's us. hot yeah there you go <clears throat> we have a belated birthday so happy birthday sue happy birthday Burton and sue um it was her birthday on 
Tuesday, Tuesday, the same birthday as my daughter's birthday. Tuesday. So happy birthday to Sue and happy birthday to my daughter Jolene, Jolene. who made me a mommy for the very first time 41 years ago. Yeah. Yep, yep. She's really getting up there. Isn't she you? is. I know we're not getting any older, but boy, she is. She feels it too with a 16 year old son. Oh, so. Boy. All right, everybody, we've got you kind of caught up on our week. Let us know how your week went. Congratulations to Tom. Happy birthday to Sue and Jolene. And uh, everyone, have a wonderful week. We will see ya. Take your banner and raise.